The Cat Lady is a game that respectfully covers heavy themes such as, but not limited to, depression, suicide, and grief. The game also involves moments of extreme violence and torture. Please do not watch this if you find any of these things upsetting. Your well-being is worth more than our views. If you or someone you love are experiencing symptoms of depression, do not be afraid to talk to someone or call the suicide hotline. Hey, look! Look who we get to play as for now. Oh, Teacup? teacup? It's Teacup! What? The Teacup Adventures. Who, who who was not expecting this? Raise oh, your hand. Oh man! Oh man! Okay, we I'm gotta get. I'm so excited about we gotta this. We get teacup down. We gotta bolt our way off of the. Uh... I love teacup's little uh, little soundtrack. Oh my god! Oh, teacup is so OP. Also, I like that teacup has an inventory. <laughs> I know, right? All right, teacup. so let's, let's go explore this horrific place. Yeah, hot teacup. Go rub your face on some things. This is your house now. Spray some, spray some nasty, gross cat shit everywhere. Oh, well. Well, okay. Oh, there's Susan. Knock well, some stuff off the shelf. Sure is Susan. Yep. She's just a little she's dead. Dope. Well, she's not dead yet. Mm. That's the problem. Hole. Teacup, don't give a fuck. Do, 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 Teacup do, too do, hardcore. Teacup, don't give a single fuck. He's just going frolic and prance. Little cat. I love that he's like not even an object. He's just a shadow. Hey there. Gorgeous. Ugh. Ugh. I see my old lady brought the bleach again. What a shame. <laughs> oh. I really liked your eyes. No. It could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh. She does that every single time. Oh, what God. do we call it? Fucked up. Fucked up. Trust issues. Uh, fucked it. up. Yep. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. <laughs> Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. <laughs> wow. Thanks, guy. But, but I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Yeah, no, nothing uh, about this would. Uh, plenty of time until dinner, and you you're in pain, so... I've brought something to end your suffering. Thanks. Think of it as an option. Uh-oh. I've got this gun here. It's oh, one of my for favorites. Mm -hmm. Just one bullet in the chamber. Large caliber. Yet you'd be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Which is kind of concerning because it implies you feel Sounds pain after good, death. Doesn't it? I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know, no pressure. Just a suggestion. Ah, yeah. of course. You can't so You don't see have to waste this bullet on that yourself. Each turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. Oh. 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 Nah, he's not going to shoot you. So I'll just leave it for you. No, just the, the, the description of what Feel the bleach did. It's all like yeah. my eyes are watering that, now. That it's like, no. Meant for you anyway. Mm -hmm. I better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You I know what said that. Minks. Yep. <laughs> all right. So. Ugh. That shit sucks. What was that? You can't did reach this guy just it. happen to call the wrong fucking pest control and like end up dialing up? Well, what a, did you expect? A crazy yeah. serial yeah, killer serial and his sometimes. wife. Yeah, seems huh. so. So is our goal as teacup to like kill Susan, 
so that she comes back and can use the gun. <laughs> our our goal our goal as teacup is to find a way to get Susan uh free from her well. restraints. <laughs> yep. Well. So that's what so teacup's inventory is just his like guts. Yep. Gross. So now we also, got, uh, also, your goal as teacup is to be a fucking kitty cat. Yep. Kitty 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 cat. So we gotta What's we got time this ass music. It's because this guy will straight up kill you if you don't, like, if he sees you. Okay. So, what's you're the... a cat, and that's literally the cat catcher. Like, what's more scary? I guess. What's the timing on this? So, I gotta get up here, and when he's bent over like that, then... What is he... Leap. Like, what is... He... Oh, it's a gun. It's a rifle. Yeah, it's a shotgun. Yeah. It's a it looks, like, it looks like a... It looks, yeah, it looks like an 18th century shotgun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with a tiny... With a short-ass stock on it. I'm Teacup. I'm probably not an infernal monster. <laughs> I mean, oh. even if you were, though, I'd spit like out. You're really cute. <laughs> Blah. 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 <laughs> Teacup's like a mama bird. What? Who's this? <laughs> Just spit My, into your mouth. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key. Who that are you? That bitch is a little too soft. Say of a something. Word. Anything. So do we? Is this next section? I, do we need stereo sound for this next section? Now. Well, this next section is. Hey, burger. <laughs> we still have the burger. Still have the burger. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're blind. So yeah, we have to do this all by sound, right? Gun. Gun. The gun. That idiot left his gun. Take it. No. No, no, no! I dropped it! Oh, Where fuck. is it? Where the hell is it? For search. Ah, uh, rat traps. <laughs> uh, I really That's thought I was gonna so... just put a bunch of, like, question marks in our inventory, and then we hovered over them and just, like, gun? Nope. Uh, well, we can't do anything about this. Shoot the burger put it out of its misery. So... <laughs> Let's, uh... Use gun on self. Let's shoot ourselves. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have we'll to be break back. my promise. How did she get taken? Uh, well, we apparently have jumped ahead some amount of time. Chapter 5 is going to be the interstitial chapter. Mmm, those noises. Yeah. You are dead. Sure are. You know the sound effects of you dying. Um, so were we not supposed to do that? No, we were supposed to do that. Oh, uh, okay. We've just never it's gotten just, this title screen for going back to the other world. informing us that we are dead. Yep, super dead. There's the burger. We took Death the... is nothing at all. You've only slipped away into the next room. I am I, and you are you, and whatever we were to each other, that we are still. And now we uh, we brought the Berg with us to Whoa. the afterlife. Oh, hey, Mitzi came Hi. with us. Hope you don't mind creepy posters. Nope. We just jumped back in time. Oh, okay. It's your room. You can do what you like with it. But I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Hey. What Did you got you against all them? that shit? No. My boyfriend made them. I want them anyway. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rat? Are you trying to seduce oh, me? Oh, yes. <laughs> cool. So, shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. <laughs> it really does I sound like it, doesn't it? A little bit. No, she's not. I mean, At least, you don't I don't think that's the intention. Like but since we're gonna live I think together she's for a just while, trying to... Pry well, information out of us. Will it? Are you sure you can drink in your condition? It won't it's just make cancer. Work, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm not on any cancer medication. I feel good. The way I see it, I haven't got much time left, so I might as well make the most of it. That makes sense, I suppose. 
We can have a drink if you like. Great. I'll bring the wine. Oh, Dan. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Well, we know where there's a opener, Miss Ashworth. Corkscrew. In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses too? Oh, it's really coming together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those she are, made uh, the bed. Those are load-bearing posters. She's gonna burn. Who's ready for more control. exposition? Uh, me. Okay, well, we're gonna get a lot of it. I'm ready. About Make sure you get three glasses. About 21 for, minutes worth, maybe? Two for yeah. the humans and one for the burger. <laughs> I was gonna say one for teacup, but I like the burger. No, no, teacup no. gets a bowl. <laughs> Saucer. <laughs> Also, I'm really wondering if there's going to be a point where we have to use the cheese grater. Well, and if we do, I'm guessing it's not going themselves. to be a great cheese. I'd like it on that guy's face. I don't think don't worry. Don't we'll we'll have we'll guys. have plenty of plenty of things to do with that guy. Oh, I imagine. Ugh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can't play the banana. Nope. <laughs> can't can't play the piano right now. She does seem genuine. Whoops. Then I forget that I need to actually give them to her and not we'll just talk to her again. Because this is an adventure game. Use glass on girl. Can we give her the wine on girl? Great. Now all we need is a corkscrew. No. Who's good with the red? The burger is ours. It stays with us. I it is our only companion. I really want to. I really want to see if you take it to the afterlife. Alright. That's all we need. Does it become a real burger again? Does the soul of the dead burger join you? Am I going to have more with the burger? Just very for the title funny. card. Let's see. Oh no, I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. Ugh. How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are no, eight be. apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. The they one changed guy that over yelled the at you. Too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's yes, a nasty okay. piece of work, mm -hmm. but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I Fuck think all. he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Doctor, he's more of a train called. spotter. <laughs> Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building and with your help, mark down who lives where? Sounds good to me, Mitzi. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once, when I was just nine or ten. 
Because Silent Hill. Silent Hill all up in. I remember I sat under a tree no, it's England. Thinking some monster was here <laughs> right <laughs> London Fog is so fucking. But now that it's, you're it's a big a girl, you brand. know there are no monsters. <laughs> my brand. Yeah. How do you know? Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. Oh, you're not gonna Small tell her you're a murderer? Past, you might be in love, Miss Ashworth. I am so glad I'm not spitting in the night outside. You know I'm I might be a big girl now, but... <laughs> you wanna test it out? There will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. Did you know they actually have a name for it? It's called homiclophobia. Fear of fog. Hmm. We are living in crazy times, Mitzi. Oh, no. No, so, don't. Well, the big C. <sighs> Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do. Before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you the mind deadly me asking? Kind. Brain tumor. Her name is Cleoblastoma. Yep, I was right. Her. <laughs> Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, <laughs> sarcoma. <laughs> Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and Why are you giggling over there, Sam? Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah. And yet, she gets to be the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. Queen of Maggots How goes long? by many names. They said I had a year. She does, doesn't she? But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Uh, mm. Let's talk about him. Let's go from the horrifically Thanks depressing back. topic. It's maybe a less depressing topic? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So. Sure is not. Oh. Yep. Miss Ashworth, Ooh. are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... don't know where to start. I mean, he was eight years old, but he looked like he was 40. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like forever. We grew up <laughs> the, the worst same reference I think you could have made. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. Oh. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. And then we both That's got cancer. Absolutely oh, Jesus. About me. No. We no, got imagine cancer. So one day we would marry, have children, be happy. <sighs> oh, is that the fog coming in? I never had It is the fog friends. coming in. I had Jack. Interesting, huh? Need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Oh, God. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. What's luck that? You wanted a million feels? Here, no. take them. Just mm. dump, let me just dump them all into your face, right on the, Matt, right the spot. bring up the clown Jack picture again. Pictures on your wall. 
Was he an artist? Alright, now wiggle it a little bit. <laughs> He's not gonna do anything. Spin it around. Hey, he did the fucking Riker JPEG for the fucking Talos, so... And then just shrink it down and put it on the Scarecrow and leave it there. Yeah, alright, perfect. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films. But I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. Some people say it's depressing, but we've got a clown right here. I might be scared of fog, so... <laughs> but I like spiders. We'll get through. Oh, you I like spiders too. Mind, no, honestly, there's a certain indescribable to be fair, and sadness. I've been terrified Just of fog like ever since I read Stephen King's The Mist. So, and notice what others can't That's a see. fucked up story. You must love my apartment then. It's like ugly took a vacation here <laughs> and never went home again. <laughs> Wow. Susan just has the best How burns the news about your against cancer? everyone and herself. <laughs> he laughed. And he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. It was awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place when nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. Jesus. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. How did he die? How did Jack die? Yeah. It was so distant the last few weeks before. Before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know, about all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything, really. Identical porn. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and... And how they cope with their lives. There sure was an eyeball. Like Adam is an advocate of death. There sure he was, wasn't there? Yeah. Weakness. Wait, where? His job is to plant an idea. In, in the, the, the previous, uh, in, in chapter two, two the uh, enormous group. eyeball that talked to us mm-hmm. and showed us Jack the flowers. Oh, right, 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 right. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. Oh, it was the Romeo no. and Juliet kind of scenario. Mm. We were both die together in each other's arms. I like how the fog just refused to, be to roll in in front of the death. scarecrow. There was no chance we would Let's get in there. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. <laughs> he me was fucking nuts, of course. But he just I'm not sure which up. ones do that, because I think ammonia and He's bleach, but me. that makes mustard gas. He begged, yeah, that's, um... And eventually just kept screaming at me. Uh... I figured it was his crazy it's, idea. It's bleach and robot. something else. But it was Let's downright not tell people on the internet what wrong. it is. <laughs> Finally, yeah, go look it up yourselves. He said he would get everything no, ready and don't, don't, don't look it up. 
Yeah, oh, they're gonna I do it anyway, it. even if I did say that. You can that. put on an FBI watch That's list. Last words said to me. Whatever, I looked and up how to make out. ecstasy. Yeah, I mean, I the the number, the, the amount of shit that I've researched that for that Cthulhu games and like Delta Green, I'm, I'm on a watch myself, list somewhere. Maybe he was right, and I should do it. I think my I favorite thing is, um, is I think it's uh, Adam Scott Glancy talking about how many conspiracy theorists Since came to him it, saying like, I, I get it, man, you, so you uncovered tired. the truth. Yeah. It's like, no, like, dude, no. It's, it's just a game. It's like, yeah, yeah, I got you, man. It's just a game. <laughs> just like, uh, what was it? Uh, Ross Payton, uh, a thing from Base Raiders got featured on Vice. I need to stop nice. I need one of the, uh, one of the super soldier late. drugs from Base Raiders got featured on a thing about Agora. Because That's Agora true. is actually currently the biggest, uh, Agora, Darknet. Actually is, in real life, the biggest Darknet, uh, uh black market there is. Mm -hmm. oh, Which is funny because no. Ross right, named so his fake plane. black market Agora after Silk Road. Right. Mm -hmm. used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes <sighs> make love in Jack's car. He likes to listen to Dark Side. Well, really anything special about that? <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> Why are they playing but Dark Side? Was, oh. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. Oh yeah. no! Oh we no! We get to play as Mitzi. No, you no. Yeah. So we got no. we got flashbacks and flashbacks now. Yep. Also, they're Yo, playing dog, a transition. They're playing a transition noise over and over. Mm. It's almost as if this was a transition period in her life. No. Uh, you're kind of stretching uh, that if, one. As if, well, oh, I mean, yeah. No. It's a very round car. It looks like a Ford Taurus. Okay, at least we didn't, like, actually discover him. Like there a body. signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. It's considered of him to, you know, warn people. the eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So he posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. Oh. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind. Yep. Care for it. To embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. Sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. Man, this is like the uncomfortably down. <laughs> close to, well, yeah. Yeah, close. close to a recent news story that's that been that going happened. around. Mm. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. You're talking about the 4chan one? So much. No. Because oh, apparently you. there was a guy that decided that to uh, live blog the cutting off his own toe. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you With pictures. To talk no. But hey. I got that. That was implied you didn't have to. Oh, well, what would I do if this happened to me? Nah, I'm but talking really about the to talk. I girl who Jack convinced her boyfriend to commit suicide. Oh, Ugh. right. You know, funny boy. He actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling. Trolling. It's usually mm -hmm. a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say, don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. That fog is still not reaching the scarecrow. It's only worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Oh, we're gonna fuck him up. Mm -hmm. fuck what that are bitch those up. two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. 
I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be rough. What if I promise to you I will never do it again? So that was the promise we broke. Aww. All right. But if you don't keep your promise, Miss Ashworth, I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already broken heart. You can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I mean, we'll be back. Too, Miss Ashworth. <laughs> so, yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't think so. You'll go to heaven, you muppet. Aww. Oh, well, back here. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Ah, uh, okay. Any good housewife mm -hmm. can make it in the blast. So, we're back. <laughs> time to and fuck some next, people up. Yeah, next time we're next gonna time. murder that th these people. <sighs> we are going to I'm guessing kick we're gonna some make... fucking ass. Although, yeah, Everyone we're gonna, go look we're... up like a cat video or something cute. We're like, gonna, uh, un unwind. Thank you.